Let me show you how you can add your images into your project in Affinity Publisher. Here I am with the desktop version, but it's rather similar on the iPad as well. Most of you will try to simply drag and drop your image. So let's try this method as well. So if I drop my image, as you can see, it's here in the original size. It's really large, so I need to scale this all the way down. And then I can try to fit it into my publication. So this way will work. But in this kind of desktop publishing software, very often we got multiple pages, hundreds sometimes. So this method is not ideal. What we usually do in Publisher is to create spaces for our images first and then fill them with images. So to create a space for your image is to create an image frame. In the tool panel on the left, as you can see, there's a picture frame with the rectangular shape that we can draw like that. So when you're planning your document, you're planning a text box here, you can draw this so you know there will be image here. It's also one with the oval shape. You can hold shift for the perfect circle. So that two ready to use picture frames like that. And then you can click on this kind of frame and this option to replace image at the very top. And you can simply select the image from your hard drive. As you can see, now we got more control. I can rotate the image inside that frame, but the frame is exactly the same. I can zoom out and in, and the frame is still in the same size. Of course, we can turn the image inside the frame as well. So we got way more control. In any given moment, I can modify the size of the frame and I can see more image right now. So that's nice. It's exactly the same with uh, this shape. But instead of using replace image button, I will drag and drop inside that ready to use picture frame. And we got the very same result. All right. What if you need a different aspect ratio or different size of the picture frame. So we, we are covered with the rectangular and oval shapes that are here. But if you need some weird shape, you can always use pen tool and draw a custom shape, let's say, or import ready to use SVG, right? Whatever you want, just a vector shape like this. All right, we got vector shape. And now I can right click on it. And I can convert this to picture frame. Take a look. Now I can use the replace image to put image inside. And here's my image. And I can do whatever I want to do. All of the image frame features are here. If I want, I can even use node tool to make changes to our shape. To make it exactly as we need. All right, so that's how we place images in Affinity Publisher. If you just drag and drop this, you've got very short publication or maybe just simple one side poster, this will do. But I recommend you to set up some picture frames and then populate them with your images. Thank you for today. See you in the next tutorial.